everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is going to be all about um, a review on two of the four Mr. Kipling cakes um, that they've brought out with the gluten-free, wheat-free range. So, um, so far Mr. Kipling have done a lemon and ginger loaf, an apple loaf, a cherry bakewell loaf, and then mini cherry bakewell cakes. Um, I've tried all of them apart from the mini bakewell cakes. So I'm definitely going to try those out, um, but it was the loaves that I thought would be a really yummy thing to have um, from Mr. Kipling. So as many of you guys know who live in the UK, Mr. Kipling is a quintessentially English cake maker. Um, they do do exceedingly good cakes, that is their saying, and I think from a gluten-free, wheat-free point of view, it still works. They are still exceedingly good. Um, I do have to say that if you have a very sweet tooth, these are for you. These are the cakes you need to have. I have a really sweet tooth, um, so for me these cakes are amazing. So out of the range that they have, I am going to do a review on the lemon and ginger loaf and the apple loaf because these two are my absolute favourite and I've bought them to take to friends' houses, for dinner parties, um, just for a Friday night or weekend if I fancy something sweet. But they're perfect for like picnics or anything like that, a birthday cake, it would make a really sweet birthday cake. Um, I will start with the lemon and ginger loaf. So I think having lemon and ginger together is a really, really lovely idea. Um, you can really taste both flavours but they they kind of balance each other out so as you start you can taste the lemon and then as you keep chewing the ginger you can kind of get hints of ginger and not many people are huge fans of ginger and I I'm okay I'm growing to like ginger a bit more but this is just the perfect amount of each flavour and I find it's just a really, really nice mix of flavours to have together and I think that's a really good um, idea. It's a sponge cake, so it's it's not very light, um, but it's not, it's not very heavy, so um, it's kind of, it doesn't crumble that much, but as you cut into it, it anything gluten-free crumbles, so um, it does crumble a bit, but not a huge amount. Um, I can tell you um, a little bit more information from the packet. So what does it say? It says it's irresistibly moist ginger and lemon rice flour sponge covered in Moorish zesty decorated lemon frosting, which is so good. The frosting isn't thick or it's just like a little coating, which is really, really nice. Um, the other, just to let you guys know, the other little, um, things in bold is eggs and it's also got oats in bold so um, for anyone who isn't meant to be eating oats it's it's oat flour so um, it will be glu it's gluten free oat flour but they've put in bold oats because of anyone who is extra extra um, careful and just won't even have gluten-free oats this probably isn't the cake um, so there's a little tip there um, but other than that it's just those two things and then in the apple loaf so it says it's a delectably moist apple flavor rice flour sponge with chunks of real apple finished with a sweet and crunchy oat topping so again there's oats in this one gluten-free oats of course um, and in bold it's eggs and again yeah so just eggs and oats for this one as well so it does say and it might be the same in the other one I guess they're made in a place that contains nuts and peanuts it doesn't physically have them in the cake but I guess Mr Kipling must make things that also contain nuts so the apple loaf um, just like it said there's little apple chunks in it which kind of gives another layer to the cake really um, this one is a very dense cake um, it can kind of dry your mouth out it's very very sweet so what I would if I'm feeling extra cheeky I think I'd probably have it with cream or creme fraiche or something like that because it's very very dense and you just need something else with it you kind of need like a little 
a topic. So the apple flavour, um, there's is a hint. It's not hugely strong, um, but it's a very rich cake. Um, so again, that goes with the dense and the rich. It's, it would be really really nice with a little a little bit of cream or um, yogurt or creme fraiche or something like that would would be really really nice. That's kind of it. They're really oh the apple. So the apple loaf. Um, unlike the lemon and ginger it's um, more crumbly so as soon as you cut into it it does start crumbling away but you can do slices if you do thicker slices they work and they hold it's way more crumbly than the lemon and ginger uh, loaf so it's one to bear in mind um, yeah that's kind of it Mr Kipling have done a gluten-free wheat-free range and how fantastic is that I just love that they've really thought about how they can push the brand further and catering for gluten-free wheat-free intolerances is an absolutely fantastic idea I think um, Mr Kipling have got it right and I'm really excited to see what else they bring out because um, this must be only the start I'm gonna definitely keep you posted and let you know if I see anything new um, so my final thing that I was wanting to do is I am going to do a giveaway for these two fantastic cakes. So in order to enter for the giveaway, I would just like for, first of all, for you to like or leave a comment on this video. And I'm also going to put it on Instagram. Um, so I'd just love for you to like it and then leave me a comment or send me an email and just let me know what more would you like to know. Would you like to know more about my life as a celiac or more reviews or would you like me to kind of discuss more about just general lifestyle? I'd really, really like to know um, any more ideas and thoughts that you guys have um, just so that I can keep all my content relevant for you and help out or just kind of offer you a little glimpse into the way I do things and like I said I've been a celiac for gosh eight over eight years now um, so I've kind of seen quite a lot of all the transformations that have happened and I'd really like to share with you anything that you would like help on or just anything you'd like to see really so, don't so. forget to tag your friends leave a comment like my posts and i will see you guys soon i will let you know who the winner is <laughs>